So this is my fourth and last example about the topic applications of maxima and minima. And it says, find the dimensions of the largest rectangle that can be inscribed in the ellipse 9x squared plus 16y squared equals 144. The sides of the rectangle are parallel to the axis of the ellipse. So ibig sabihin, ilalagay natin sa loob yung rectangle do sa ellipse na equation ay 9x squared plus 16y squared equals 144. Now, ano yung pinakamalaking rectangle na pwede nating uh, ilagay dun sa ellipse na to? So, para maintindihan, i-graph ko muna kung nasan ba yung rectangle at nasan yung ellipse. Uh -huh. Dun sa ellipse natin, we have, tinuruan ko na kayo niyan, that is equation of ellipse with center at the origin. Okay? And... Tingnan natin kung nasan yung major and minor axis niya. So, we have, i-grab natin siya, 9x squared plus 16y squared equals 144. Lagay natin sa standard equation by dividing all of the terms by 144. And that is x squared over 16 plus y squared over 9 equal to 1. Mas malaki yung denominator ni x squared, ibig sabihin, horizontal ellipse to. Ibig sabihin nito, a equals 4 and b equals 3. Okay? At ang c nyan, uh, that is a squared minus b squared. Okay? Hindi natin gawin yan. So, i-grab natin. We have 4 ang um, half of the major axis. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, 3, pataas. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, pag ganito siya. Actually, kahit hindi na i-graph to, pero ang hirap ipaintindi kung wala tayong graph. Okay? So, may inscribe tayo. Inscribe, big sabihin, nasa loob yung ating uh, rectangle. Pag circumscribe, uh, nasa loob ay ellipse. Okay? So, naandito yung ating rectangle. Sabihin natin, ito yung maximum area. Okay. So, sabihin natin, ang dimension niya ay Ito yung x. X din to, no? Sabihin natin ito yung y. Ito yung y. Ang i-maximize natin dito ay area, no? Kasi ang tinatang dito, dimensions of the largest rectangle. So, i-maximize natin yung area. So, sa solution natin, we have ang um, area natin, ang length natin, 2x. Ang height natin, o with natin 2y. So, we have 2x times 2y. We have 4xy. Okay? So, kailangan masolve natin muna si y. Now, ano yung y natin? Uh, papansin natin yung corners ng ating rectangle na coincide dun sa ellipse natin. So, makatawid, at this point, they have the same value of x and y. Okay? So, therefore, we can use the equation of the ellipse to replace y dun sa ating area of the rectangle. Solving y. So, from here, mm -hmm. so, solving y from the equation of ellipse. So, at yun ang isa-substitute natin doon. So, we have 9x squared plus 16y squared 
equals 144 transpose natin sa 9x squared. We have 16y squared. 144 minus 9x squared. Divide both by 16. We have y equal to 144 minus 9x squared over 16 and the square root of this. Okay? Then square root of 16, we have uh, one square root of 144 minus 9x squared over 4. Okay? Yun ang gagamitin natin na replacement o isa substitute natin sa y variable doon sa ating i-maximize na area of the rectangle. Okay? Okay, substitute na natin. So we have a equal to 4x. Y is this? Ano? Times square root of uh, 144 minus 9x squared over 4. So cancel na yung ating 4. We have a equals 4, ah, sorry, x square root of 144 minus 9x squared. And then we get the derivative. So we have dA over dx equal to uh, x times derivative nito, yung product rule, 1 half exponent, 144 minus 9x squared to the negative 1 half times derivative pa ng loob, derivative ng 144 is 0, derivative nito 18x plus yung 144 minus 9x squared the one half derivative ni x or derivative ni x one okay so we have a cancel to so monitor dito yung nine so we have x times x we have nine x squared ibaba ko na to we have one forty four minus nine x squared plus this one one forty four Minus 9x squared to the 1 half. By the way, I forgot 1 half here. Then we have get uh, 0 na natin to para mga critical value. We have 0. LCD is LCD is 144 minus 9x squared to the 1 half. This divide by this is 1 times this is negative 9x squared. So my 1 to Ito, divide by this is this times this, mawala na yung 1 half. Plus 144 minus 9x squared. Kasi 1 half plus 1 half is 1. Okay. So we have, cross multiply ko to, wala na, 0. We have 9x squared plus 144 minus 9x squared. So we have 18. Ilipat sa kabila, we have 18x squared equal to 144 divided by 18 we have x equal to uh, 144 divided by 18 we have 144 divided by 18 is equal to 8 okay so we have x squared equals 8 then we get the square root and x equal to 2 square root of 2 units okay about yung y natin? Yung y natin, uh, kanina, yung y natin ay uh, solving y. Okay? Equation ng y natin is y equal to 1 square root of 144 minus uh, so this 9x squared over 4. Okay? So therefore, ang y natin, substitute natin yung x y equals 2 square root of 144 minus 9 times 2 square root of 2 squared over 4. y equals the square root of 144 uh, square root of square root, square root of square root of 2 is 2 times 4 is 8 times 9 72 over 4. So 144 minus 72 so 144 Minus 72 square root non divide by 4 is 3 square root of 2. Okay, 3 square root of 2 over 2 units. Now, ito na ba yung dimension natin? Hindi pa. Kasi yung ating pong figure kanina, kung natatandaan nyo, 
yung ating rectangle nito na Dalagay natin rectangle. Uh -huh. This is, nakalagay doon ay x, x, y, y. So, makatwid, ang dimension natin should be uh, 2x by to y. Okay? So, therefore, we have 2 times 2 square root of 2 by 2 times 3 square root of 2 over 2 times 2 pa. Okay? So, our answer is 4 square root of 2 by 3 square root of 2 units. So, itong ating dimension ng ating uh, rectangle with maximum area inscribed in an ellipse of equation 9x squared plus 16y squared equals to 144. So, ating by the way, yung x natin dito is read as by 4 square root of 2 by 3 square root of 2 units. So, that is our last example on the topic about applications of maxima and minima. So I'm going to give you activity sheet for this topic. Thank you.